This is the second video describing the Easy Automation system. I've added spot train detectors to each end of the shuttle track. And here's the spot detector. This is a light dependent resistor set into the track. When the train arrives, the room light is obscured. I'll show you the train detector PCB, which is under the track. And there it is. You'll note that is powered by the track itself and there is the PIC microprocessor which controls it and the, the LDR is on the PCB looking through the track. I'm turning on the DCC power which starts the automation sequence in the DCC controller. The train starts at speed step 11, speeds up to speed step 17, slows down to speed step 11 and then trips the totty which causes it to slow down and stop. It waits for 6 seconds and then restarts. Stopping again at the other end of the track. An easy automation sequence like this just needs a simple list of actions to be written. I write them using Notepad++ and then I use the microchip IDE to create the hex file and then the PIC kit 2 to transfer the hex file to the controller PCB. Here's the list. It's very similar to the list for the previous simple shuttle, but I've substituted totties for the delay. Let's go through the list. The loco starts at speed step 11, and after two seconds it speeds up to speed step 17. Then we wait for four seconds, slow back down to speed step 11, and wait for the totty to trip when the loco slows down to a stop at the buffers. I've put in an extra quarter second delay here so that it stops accurately at the buffers. Then it waits for six seconds and restarts in reverse at speed step 11 onto speed step 17, back down to speed step 11 and then waits for the totty to trip and then stops at the buffers where it waits for a further six seconds before the cycle repeats. The train detector is automatically adjusted for the brightness of the room light and in addition it communicates with the controller via the DCC bus. There's no other wiring which makes it extremely easy to construct a layout because I can just put it in wherever I want with no wires. I'd like to describe the operation of the totty in more detail. First, let me point out the two important features of the totty. It's got automatic threshold adjustment so that it needs no potentiometers. And secondly, it communicates with the DCC controller via the track. Let me show you the circuit. Here's the complete circuit of the totty. As you can see, it's extremely simple. It's based on the 12F683 PIC microcontroller which is powered from the DCC input with a 5 volt regulator. Let's look at the train detector circuit, the, the LDR circuit. Here we have an LDR which is in a voltage divider with a 100k resistor. The center point of the voltage divider is fed to the analog to digital converter input on the PIC as the resistance of the light dependent resistor varies, the voltage varies at the input to the ADC. Now a light dependent resistor has a low value of resistance with the light shining on it and no train present 
and a higher resistance when the train obscures the light. As the value of the resistance of the LDR increases, then I hope you can see that the voltage at the midpoint also increases and this can be detected by the PIC. The PIC continuously tracks the ambient level voltage and sets a threshold above that ambient level voltage. For example, as the ambient light decreases, that voltage increases, but the PIC continuously sets a threshold voltage above the ambient light voltage. So it's automatically adjusted and you'll see there are absolutely no potentiometers in the circuit. Let's look at how the PIC signals to the controller. When the train arrives and it's detected by the PIC, the PIC turns on this MOSFET. That pulls the DCC voltage, the K line, down practically to ground, practically to naught volts. And that low voltage is detected by the controller, which then acts on it as appropriate in the sequence of events. This diode is merely to protect the circuit against negative transitions of the DCC voltage because, of course, K relative to J is a square wave, plus and minus, for example, 16 volts.